what happened in long-term care homes during the pandemic exposed a tragedy decades in the making. The Ontario government says they're creating 30,000 new beds over the next decade to improve long-term care. To do that, an additional $933 million in spending was announced, bringing the total cost to $2.6 billion. The previous government took nearly 10 years to build 611 new beds across the province. Mr. Speaker, we are building 30,000 new beds. But those beds are for all sectors of long-term care, public and private. That's despite a report from the Canadian Medical Association that found the risk of death from COVID-19 was significantly higher within for-profit homes. The overhaul of long-term care uh, needs to be from one end to the other, including getting the profits out. But it's not just about beds, Mr. Speaker. It's also about the quality of care. Prior to the pandemic, the province claimed seniors would get two hours and 45 minutes of direct care a day. In order to increase that to four hours, the Ford government reaffirmed spending $4.9 billion over four years. NDP leader Andrea Horvath says it's not soon enough. As Lord knows, there are many, many vulnerable seniors in long-term care that will never see uh, the benefits of something that, that, that's coming four years from now. To make more one-on-one -on -one time a reality, Ontario needs to hire at least 27,000 new persons personal support workers and nurses. Ontario is investing an additional $650 million this year to prevent the spread, increase staffing and buy more supplies such as masks. While the explanation of the new $650 million figure is vague, the province says it will help with infection control and the cost of changing bed arrangements to reduce the number of residents in each room. And we are investing $246 million to improve living conditions in existing homes, including ensuring air conditioning for residents. The government is trying to hire for retirement homes and is now offering a $5,000 grant for a six-month commitment and $10,000 to work one year in a retirement home. The opposition says the budget does not address a permanent wage increase for long-term care workers. It's absolutely shocking that it seems once again the Ford government has forgotten about long-term care. How can that possibly be? While PSWs and nurses are still entitled to the pandemic pay until the end of June this year, there's been no talk of increasing the hourly rate, which is on average just under $23. Currently, the Long-Term Care Commission is investigating the response to COVID-19 and a full report is due at the end of April. And the Ford government says it could suggest that further spending is needed. 